Congratulations, Lee Broxham, who joins us live via Zoom now from home. Uh, Lee, the two-time winner of the Victory Medal. Congratulations, mate. You joined some uh, illustrious company in being a joint medal winner. Thanks, Zappers. Uh, yeah, obviously it was a tough year, but, um, you know, it's nice to... Uh, I guess it's nice to be acknowledged and, um, yeah, to do, it. to do it again this year is, uh, yeah, something I might look back on and... Um, and uh, be really proud of. Um, but yeah, again, uh, uh, thanks for that. And uh, yeah, it was a real, uh, real really highlights package there. <laughs> so it's nice. And Lee, I was going to say, mate, you've been at the club pretty much since day one. And, uh, you know, you're Mr Fixer. You can play left back, centre back, midfield. Um, you know, you set the tone. We see in the highlights package, you know, you're breaking up play. You're getting the boys around you, making sure they're organised. How important is it to have that role moving forward as well? Obviously, there's going to be a lot of change in the club, within the club. How important is it from day one to set the tone of what's expected of you as a Melbourne Victory player? Yeah, well, yeah I mean, I've been here a long time and... Um... You know, and, and so is Grant, and so you know we both know what's expected at the club. And um, you know, obviously this year didn't go as well um, as anyone would like. Um, you know, expectations were nowhere near met, and um, wasn't out of a lack of trying from everyone at every level. I think you know we didn't just uh, let things happen and play out. You know, we at every point everyone tried their most to, to make it a successful year, and it just it, it wasn't to be. And um, you know, I think. Moving forward now, there's a lot of changes again, and there was a lot last year. Um, so I think it's, you know, seeing things that maybe we, we said uh, would be OK and that will be accepted last year, that stamping it out now, and I know I know Grant and the team haven't, uh, you know, since since the last game of the season, haven't, haven't had a day off. They've been working um, tirelessly, um, since the end of the season, like I said, to make sure that the season ahead is going to be a good one. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, I've got to play my part in that too. I've been, I've been thinking about everything that we can do better next year and, um, and that we have to do better um, and that we will do better. Lee, congratulations. Uh, winning the victory medal twice. Um, I want you to enjoy tonight. Um, it's a fantastic achievement. You must be very proud and, and you should be. But uh, tomorrow morning, I want to make sure that you're back out on the track because uh, I need it to be three victory medals. So uh, back on the track tomorrow. Thanks, Bridget. I think, uh, you know, we, we knew where this, the year sort of was finishing last year and I think everyone who, was, who knew they were going to be here has uh, shifted their focus to that. I think, uh, I think everyone at the club, albeit it wasn't successful, and we all know that, that you know, the tireless, tireless, tireless effort that went in, you know, from, from yourself to finish the season. I mean, you have to be commended as well. What you walked into was, was very difficult. Um, and what everyone was doing, trimmers, all the support staff that uh, worked tirelessly. I know, speaking to Trent Jacobs, he hasn't had a day off through this whole time. So I think, I think to your point, um, I think everyone should enjoy tonight um, and maybe switch off a little bit and, uh, and start again tomorrow morning because definitely like I said, it wasn't a successful year, but it wasn't out of a, a lack of trying. And I know that um, I know that everyone deserves it deserves a bit of a break and, and to switch off. And if that's tonight, uh, you all deserve it as well. Well, uh, Grant, I don't think there's any danger in Lee not getting back on the training track tomorrow because his wife, Sam, she's a f fitness freak. Uh, we've been watching her since uh, getting her on Victory TV. And, uh, Broxy, she's, uh, she's one of the fittest mums going around, no, no doubt. She's, I'm sure she's got you into shape when uh, uh, the fitness staff at Victory Day. But you've also got your kids working hard in lockdown. I, I know it's hard for everyone at home watching in Victoria. And uh, the Broxham family, though, they've come up with an innovative way of keeping their kids busy. Can you explain this to me? I saw Sam uh, post this yesterday on Instagram, Broxy. This is... Um Art and craft hour at the Broxham household, isn't it? So, <laughs> it, uh, no, you just, I mean, I'm sure everyone in Victoria is the same. You, you're just trying to find ways to stay stay active, uh, stay mentally healthy. Um, and, you know, through, through Sam's business, it's uh, something that the, the kids are involved in as well. They, they watch mum do it and, and uh, you know, what it, it's helped her keep, keep in mind on other things. You know, we were away for a long time. You know, we are in a hub for five five weeks um, and, you know, the effort that she 
did with the kids and to still run a business from home um, and support me while I was away as well um, and put up with me while I was home for while the league was suspended as well. So I think, uh, you know, she doesn't need to, tell her on, need to tell her on this forum, you know, I tell her at home, but I think she, she's uh, uh, been a tremendous support to me um, and there's people around Sam as well and they know who they are, who, who support us um, uh, at home and on a personal level. And, um, you know, we're all trying to get through in this time and it's been very difficult. Um, it's been a difficult period and uh, I know you and I spoke, Chairman, maybe six months ago, I think, and there was something that resonated. Uh, and you might have just said it in casual conversation, I think, that, um, you know, you want to look back on this difficult time and, and be proud of the way you've conducted yourself. Um, and that's something that stuck with me over the last six or seven months, I think, and, and um, you know, it was really something that I took on board. And um, each action that I've taken over the last six months, I think, during this tough period, and, and my family as well, we always try to try to think how um, how we look back and be proud of how how we conducted ourselves, and um, something that we'll keep keep using moving forward. Proxy, uh, great words uh, of advice. He's speaking like a real mature uh, gentleman now and uh, one of the senior leaders at the club and, uh, and it really shows. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. Before we let you go, anyone else you'd like to thank? You touched on the staff and the chairman and, and the family, of course, but uh, uh, obviously there's a lot of supporters and uh, fans and members that I'm sure you'd like to thank and sponsors of the club. Yeah, I, I do, Zappas. So I think there's a... Uh, let me just use this platform, I guess. There's... You know, it's from, uh, you know, like Blue Star Global Logistics, they're making to, tonight happen. You know, it's uh, it's the continued support to the club um, that makes the game through this difficult period uh, keep running. And I know I've mentioned the chairman and put a lot of personal relationships uh, on the board as well that, um, you know, that have, that have a stake in the game and, and that really... Um, want us to be successful and that and that really backed us through this difficult period as well. So um, I have to thank I have to thank them for for their ongoing uh, support. Um, you know I did mention the coaches. We have a lot of changes this year and like I said, it wasn't out of a lack of effort. Um, you know, whatever the, the reasons were it didn't quite work out, but they still put in the effort to try and bring success to this uh, to this football club. Um, you know, and every partner that that's uh, that's still backing this football club and, and wanting us to be successful in the future. Um, you know, I've had some some more personal dealings. Uh, you know, Sean Morris, SMS scaffolding. He's, he's, you know, he still calls me daily and supports my family and, and always asking how I'm going. Um, the team at Adidas as well, Ada Leia, who I've, who I've played with in the past. Um, he's, he's been a great support um, and the whole team throughout this as well. Um, yeah, so I think... Uh, the ongoing support of the members has been has been crucial as well, and and going forward as well. You know, like it's a, it's a tough time, and you know we are really set out with the playing group in the last five games, especially to try and put some smiles on places at home, and it didn't quite work out. So I think it's something that motivated me as well that um, you know the ongoing support from from members and supporters moving forward that um, that we want to. Uh, put smiles on the face for this difficult time and uh, it's something that will all um, be fresh in our memory and, and um, you know, that was only the second finals I've ever missed and I made myself watch them all and it was tough. So I think, uh, you know, we, I know what it's, what it's going to take. It's going to be a lot of hard work and, um, you know, Grant's the right guy to get us, to get us through it and um, I, think, uh, I think your ongoing support will be, will be something that we'll need. So, again, thanks to everyone and um, it's... Uh, yeah, it's an honour to sit here and um, we'll take this award. Well, Lee, uh, in the tradition of uh, the Victory Medal, we'd normally be standing up on stage at, uh, at the Palladium, but uh, we have uh, a toast uh, to the Victory Medalist, so I'm not sure whether Sam managed to scramble in a glass of champagne for you. Oh, she has. Uh, oh, she's, yeah. she's a woman of many talents, Sam. So uh, on behalf of the football club and all the fans and members, uh, to our Victory Medalist, Lee Broxham. All Lee the best, Broxham. Lee. Congratulations. Congrats, Lee. Lee. Congrats, Lee. Congratulations to, uh, to Lee Broxham, uh, the winner of the Victory Medal and back-to-back uh, -back winner. Congratulations, Lee, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you for joining us all 